It was at the turn of the century, 1897, the year Bram Stoker's Dracula offered a blood-drinking afterlife. Oscar Wilde was released from prison for gross indecency. The Battle of Saragari was fought to be lost, and a young Parsi, Ardashir B. Godrej, set up a lock factory that was key to India's safe future. Till Ardashir chose to go the security way, factory-made locks were imported. Indian locks were handmade. His was the first made in India endeavor that changed not only the lock landscape but also our history. By 1908, Godrej had patented the first springless lock in the world. And by 1911, when King George V and Queen Mary became the first monarchs to set foot on Indian soil, their valuables were stored in Godrej's safes. It was an endorsement as solid as the safes. But safes would not be the only product the company would be known for. Over the years, Godrej has created many an offering that would store a piece of India's history. The Godrej archives at Plant 19A of the Godrej and Boys factory in Vikroli keeps track of these stories. Be it the patent of the first lock, the first Indian typewriter, the steel cupboard, or the ultra-low temperature freezers for storing COVID vaccines, the legend of the iconic safe. is captured in the remnant of a rupee 1 note now framed at the Godrej office in Lalbagh this note is a witness to the deadliest fire that bombay a century before it became mumbai ever saw the 1944 fire on a ship docked at a city port took 700 lives and took 3 days to bring under control and this is actually quite an interesting because in 1944 there was a huge bombay dock explosion and there was uh, you know one ship called Steinkine that actually like you know caught fire because of the ammunition that they were carrying and suddenly this whole port area was uh, you know exploded into fire and there are a lot of stories where you know a lot of valuables was destroyed but then whatever was kept in godrej safe uh, that actually could be retrieved from that fire so there are these all these stories where you know some safes were actually flown into the air but still they only got the dent but everything that was inside there was in that and this is the 1 rupee note uh, that was found in that uh, in one of the godrej safes and then of course this was used as an advertisement for the quality of safe that godrej and boys was manufacturing india's first election was a mammoth exercise with 1874 candidates and 53 parties the task was daunting but here also godrej was there to lend a helping hand The Vikroli plant that stood in the middle of green fields operated round the clock to create ballot boxes as tamper proof as their safes. The archives hold in its collection an advertisement of 1951 Every Vote Counts that mentions that 12.83 lakh boxes were made then as well as a note on the locking mechanism used. And the first plant actually started not with the regular products Uh, but the ballot box for the first uh, elections of independent india and uh, this is actually what we got at the lalbag factory when we do our record surveys and uh, you know whenever we are actually trying to search for records so this is actually a very uh, if you see this is a very smaller thing because earlier in earlier elections every party had a different box, ballot box with the party symbol on this so that's why you know later on you will see the bigger boxes but in those days they were like really smaller boxes and um, like this advertisement say that there were like almost uh, 12 lakh 24000 plus ballot boxes that godrej made it might be more uh, because by the time i think this advertisement came we had made those many godrej's connection with space has also been special it has developed high precision satellite components for an isro launch in 1985 and later played a crucial part on many isro missions including mangalyaan and chandrayaan and now of course it's like you know because of these kind of exposure that engineers got over here and there is always a one isro engineer stationed here so there is a team of engineers of isro which work closely with godrej and space so they are quite like stationed here all the time so that kind of an exposure and learning you know to this i think you know and today of course chandrayaan mangalyaan it has also built critical parts of the tejas light combat aircraft and has developed the new automated assembly line for the pinaka rockets for the indian army in 2020 and has even clad the brahmos but it all started with the first swadeshi typewriter in independent india in 1955 the 
The typewriter became a symbol of changing demographics in offices, ushering in a generation of women typists by offering them a chance at a career outside their homes. And at that time, none of the Indian company was making typewriters. All the typewriters were being exported. Remington had a factory in Calcutta, uh, but otherwise, Indian companies were not making this. So that's why uh, Piroz Shah was actually skeptical because, you know, this was quite different product for us because we had only, uh, you know, we were actually quite used to doing the sheet metal work. So if you see cupboards, safe, they are like sheet metal, we have never done smaller parts. So this was a risk, you know, we had never done tiny parts and this machine had some 1800, 2000 small parts. The Godrej archives are home to many such stories from the company's past. So, you know, here actually, you know, uh, even the Godrej archives continued in alignment with what I think Godrej always thinks of, like how to do, you know, how to contribute to yeah. India's uh, industrial story. And we were thinking of like, you know, why to like restrict ourselves only to Godrej story. But through these books, let's, you know, touch upon the bigger Indian narrative and this product can be our lens to look at mm. what really happened. Mm. So, of course, we have just done two books so far. Let's mm -hmm. see what comes next.